Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video and it's the beginning of 2021. And of course, we all need some new apps on our devices. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 awesome apps that you must have on your iPhone during 2021. Starting things off with Picture in Picture Memo. As you know, with iOS 14, Apple has released the new Picture in Picture feature. And did you know that with this app, you can also put your pictures on the picture in picture mode. So let's say you have like a screenshot or any photo that you want to get information out of that photo. You're on another app. You don't have to switch to the camera roll to see the information that's on that photo. You can have that on the picture in picture mode using this app. So you launch the app. It shows you your library of photos. You go ahead and select which photos you want to see on the picture in picture mode. Tap the dumb button right there there and now it will basically add them to the picture in picture player you tap here show player and you can see right here we have the photos on the picture in picture mode so you can see it's basically the same as the ios video picture in picture player you will have the ability to of course resize it make it bigger or smaller and you can tap here on the second so you will have 15 seconds backwards and forwards in order to move between the pictures that you have placed on the picture in picture mode as i said you can move it anywhere you can of course resize it basically have the exact same features that are on the picture in picture video player of ios 14. Next up is an app called Oda. Now this is an app that allows you to easily manage your pictures. So of course we get a ton of pictures on our iPhones, maybe wallpapers and stuff like that. And a lot of them are useless. We don't need them, but we have them there because it's hard to like sort them or organize them or delete them. But with this app, you will have a very simple way to organize your photos. You just use gestures. Right here, we'll see your latest photos. And then right here at the bottom, you will see your albums. So let's say I just want to sort these photos that I have here. I want to delete this one. All I have to do is swipe up. This one is okay. Swipe down and it's marked as sorted. Now, what I can do from here is just place any picture or on any of the albums. So let's say I want to put it on the backdrops album all i have to do is just tap on the album right there that way it will just go to that album very very quickly i want to delete this one just swipe up once again so any pictures that you want to delete just swipe up you want to keep them swipe down and tap on any of the albums if you want to place it on an album you can also create a new album right here of course you will have a button to favorite them as well and to share them now what you can do here is of course once you're done once you have sorted all of your pictures you have try basically decided to delete the ones that you want you will find them right here at the top where it says trash now if you go there you will have all the pictures that you have decided to delete you can recover them or just tap here and basically go ahead and delete them from your device it's as easy as that to use oda to organize and delete any pictures that you have under the camera roll of your iphone next up is a weather app called my weather now lately this is my favorite weather app it has a beautiful simple design with a ton of information now right here you will see the current weather for your city you can tap right there to add another city you can see here beautiful animations and you will have then here the weather forecast for the next day so you can see it shows up to 10 different days and you can of course see the weather forecast for that day now lower here we'll find all the different details regarding the weather for the current day so you can see here the forecast you can see it for today you will have the hourly forecast here for today and then for tomorrow as well now lower here if you just go down you will see the hourly forecast for all the different days so you can see tomorrow you can see right here the next week so all the different details here regarding the weather for the other days now what you can do here is also go to my world and right here we'll see all the different cities of course you can go ahead edit them and also add new ones as well now what i like about this app is that it also offers some really beautiful widgets so you can see here i have two of them we have a smaller one and a medium one right here we have the current weather forecast for the current city and then right here we'll see the weather forecast for the other cities to have added now it has like six or seven different widgets with a ton of different informations that you can add to the home screen of your iPhone. The next app for the video is Screenshot Hero. Now, of course, we take screenshots all the time on our iPhones, and sometimes it's very, very hard to find the screenshot that you need if you have a ton of them. But with Screenshot Hero, 
that will be very easy. Now, what it does is that it allows to search your screenshots based on the text that's on that screenshot. So basically it loads all of the screenshots that you have on your iPhone and right there at the top, you will have a search bar. So you just tap right there, anything that you want. So let's search for iPhone right here. And now you can see it will find all the different screenshots that contain the word iPhone on them. And of course, then you can go ahead and open any of them from here. Now, of course, if you need that screenshot, you just tap the copy button right there and it will be copied to the camera roll of your device so that you can go ahead and use it anywhere you want. With the release of iOS 14, of course, one of the biggest features are the new home screen widgets. There have been a ton of different apps that have been released during the past few months, of course, support iOS 14 home screen widgets. But when it comes to widgets, there are two apps that I really, really like. One of them is Widget. It's this one right here. It allows you to customize widgets, basically add any different information that you want, create your own home screen widget, and of course, also explore and find a ton of different custom widgets. You can basically create like transparent widgets and all that, which are really, really beautiful. So here are a few of the widgets that you can add to your home screen using widget. These are the ones that are on the app, but if you go to the top right here and tap on join community, it will take you to Reddit to the subreddit of widget. And right here you can find a ton of different widgets, which you can install of course from here. These are widgets, of course, created by the community. So once you find a widget that you like, you just go ahead and tap to save the QR code for that widget. And then of course you will be able to load it on the widget app. So if we go to the app right here, you just tap on import widget and add any like widget that you want using the QR code from the camera roll. Now, if you go to manage right here, we'll have all the different slots. So you will have six for the small widgets. You will have six for the medium and six for the large. And of course, once you have here an empty slot, you just tap on it and choose any widget that you have installed. And then of course you can just add that slot to the home screen of your device and it will show that widget that you have chosen. Widgetopia is the next widget app that I like. It's similar to Widget. It offers a ton of different custom widgets to add to the home screen. You can see all these right here on the app. These are really, really beautiful. And of course you can go ahead and always customize these and just add anything you like to that widget. So you can see right here, these are the widgets that are customizable. Of course, you can set them on the home screen of your device. And it also just like widget has its own community from where you can go ahead and import widgets. So just tap right there to join the community. It will take you to the subreddit and right here, of course, you can go ahead and explore all the beautiful widgets created by the community and then just go ahead and add them to your device. So if you go right here, you can see all the different slots that you have for the widgets. Of course, when you have an empty one, you go ahead and tap on new widget and then you can go ahead and add them from here. And of course, even create your own widgets, which is really, really cool. Now, of course, once you have all those beautiful widgets on your device, you also need apps for wallpapers and wallpaper central is by far one of my favorites that has been released this year. Now this is the home screen of the app where you will find all the different featured wallpapers. Now once you find a wallpaper that you like, you tap on it and right here we'll see all the different information regarding that wallpaper. You can tap here to preview how it will look on the lock screen and home screen of your device. Just like that you will see how that looks and of course download it from here will have there a button to favorite that wallpaper. Now, If you go on the side here, you can find all different menus. You will find the categories right here. You can go ahead and switch between them and it will have a search bar as well where you can search for any wallpapers that you want. Now, if you go to feed here, you will find wallpapers that have been uploaded by the community, which of course are again, really, really beautiful. You can see how cool they look. And of course, it will make your device stand out and look really beautiful. You will have also wallpapers that are live wallpapers, but these are on a paid version, which you have to actually go ahead and subscribe for. And then right here, you will also have watch faces for your Apple watch. And then we also have here different collections that you can go ahead and explore. And of course, find the beautiful wallpaper that you want for your device. 
Next up, we have an app called One Screen. Now with One Screen, you will be able to place the screenshots or any pictures that you want into a frame of an iPhone, iPad, or an Apple Watch. So this is the home screen of the app. You tap on mockup and right here, you can go ahead and choose the image from the camera roll of your device. So let's just choose that one right there. You can see it will display it on the on this frame of the iPhone. If we go to device right here, we can switch between different devices. You can see we have all the different iPhones right here. You can switch to, you have the different colors. And of course you can switch here between iPad, watch and Mac as well. So just basically place it on any device that you want. Now, if we just go back here, you can also change the background. So you have transparent, you can add like blur or like something like that. You have also different colors that you can add as the background of that mockup. Now, once you're done, you tap the save button and actually go ahead and save this under the camera roll as a PNG file. And then of course you can go ahead and use it anywhere you want. Next up is Birdie. Now this is a Twitter client. It is my favorite. It allows to customize the app and use it of course, way easier than the app that we have the stock Twitter app. Now this is the home screen from here. You can go ahead and switch between the top tweets you can switch to the new tweets and then the scene tweets right there. Now, what I like about this app is also offers news. So it basically combines news with Twitter and right here you can see for you the news and you can go ahead and search right there or tap the plus button if you want to add like new sources so tap right there and you can add any like different sources that you want from here, which is really awesome. Now, if you go to the favorites here, we'll have all the different like tweets that you have favorited and if you go to conversations and you will have here your, me your mentions and also switching to messages you will see all of your private messages now if you go to the menu right here you can go ahead and change the look of the app you can see you can make basically all the different text smaller or bigger and then go ahead and change the icon as well and you can also change the color of the app to different modes which is really really awesome so a very nice app very simple to use but again it offers a ton of different features last but not least is an app called aesthetic icons now with the release of ios 14 everyone has been going crazy about customizing their devices on this app you will be able to find a ton of different icons that you can download to your device and go ahead and of course create custom icons through the shortcuts app it is simple to use you just go ahead and go to any pack that you like tap the download button right there they will be downloaded to the camera roll of your device you can see once we go here we have all the different files downloaded and then of course you can use these and the shortcuts app to create custom icons for the home screen of your ios 14 device so that is it for this video guys these are 10 amazing apps that you must have on your device during 2021 i hope you guys all have a great 2021 year hopefully everything will go well for you I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you guys on the next one.